Um, so uh, I've been painting since high school. Um, and I mainly do oils, but for this I'm going to do acrylics. Just basically the same thing. You can paint in oils if you want to. Um, or you can knit or whatever, you know? Hey. <laughs> um, so. So, uh, just to get a little started here, what you're going to need. Hi! Um, so, you're going to need a... Um, a palette and get all your paints on there. I'll let you guys get started with putting your paints down. Um, you want basically all the primary colors, black and white, red, blue, and yellow. Um, you can put any other colors down if you want. Uh, and I use a glass palette um, just because it's easier to move the stuff around. And uh, like one of the people in here, Kaylin, um, show me she does like a whole uh, artsy thing with her palettes where she makes it all like colorful and she sells them. So it's really cool. I'm probably never gonna do that, but I like using palettes to paint because it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> um, um, as far as the drawings, it could be whatever you guys want. Um, you don't have to go with what I did or what I have now. Here's my new drawing. It's completely different than what I did before. You know, a little bit different. I did some variation on that. I might do some different colors. We'll see. Um, so yeah, so let's see. So when it comes to drawing it, you can go any way you want. You can draw the schools however the skulls however you want to. Um, you can add little details if you want. Uh, mainly you're just trying to get the shape of it so you can paint around there and just get like a good solid draft um, beforehand and that way you kind of know where you're going with it. Um, so once you get it drawn on there um, I think we can start painting. Yeah, let's start painting. So the first thing when you paint, um, you're going to paint the background. I like to paint the background first, that way if you mess up going inside the lines at all, it's okay. You can paint over it. Um, so we're going to paint the black background first. Um, so you want to get your brush. I like to use a very rough brush like this. Here, I'll do this whole thing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So you like to get like one of the hard bristles uh, to use first and um, you want to get it really nice and wet so it's easier to glide the paint on. So you get wet with water first, then get a good amount of black on there and just start going at it. So I start with the corners and then go in. the corners and go in and you just want to get that whole surface area. You want to get all the way up to the edge of the drawing and then kind of try to be a little careful going around the edges. Um, you, will, you will go in and paint the paint around the edges with a smaller brush. So you're going to use a lot of black, so you're going to want to have a lot of black on there. Just get that whole background. some points that are starting to get a little bit hard for me to do with this hard brush. Some points. So try to get as much as I can with the hard brush. If you're using 
a larger canvas. Um, I would go with the brush even larger than this um, just to get the whole surface a lot quicker because this is just completely covering the background with black so you don't have to think about it too much. And the reason why I do a hard brush is it kind of gives a nice texture. Um, and don't forget the edges of it. brush. I'm going to go with the finer brush and um, get just around the edges with, of the black and completely covering the background. So you're getting all the way up to the edge of your drawing. Just getting in those little crevices around the, uh, the crystals. So yeah, like I said, I work, I work pretty quickly. Um, so if you need me to slow down, just let me know. decided to draw a lot of crystals this time so I have a lot of little details to get around uh, so yeah so as you're painting just get all the way around the black um, and you know make sure it's all nice and wet around there um, then we're going to at after this step, you're going to add in color in the background, so you still want it to be wet at this point. Um, and then you're just going to use the first brush she used and just throw in some random colors. So we're going to get this kind of effect with all of these colors around the background, just kind of make it like messy. So you can do whatever you want with it. So you're just kind of going crazy with all these different colors. I kind of strategically did uh, a lot of red towards the corners of it and then did some yellows and blues. I kind of just want to go in and go nuts at this point. So I'm going to start doing that now. So kind of because it's wet, I'm going to throw a lot of color in and just blob it on. Love it. A lot of people watching. Cool. Fun. Yay. And I will do this again, so if you guys like it, I'll do it again. So, okay, so now that that's done, you want to make sure the edges of your painting are pretty much dry. And then you can start on the scale. So, at this point, you want to get a fresh brush. So, then I'm going to use my softer bristled brush. Um, and get a lot of uh, water on it and then get your white paint and then you're just gonna go through and cover basically everywhere the skull would be 
you're going to cover that with white. And this is totally fine if you kind of get where your uh, where your crystals are. It's totally fine if you get around there. It's totally fine if you go over because black covers everything. And you're going to cover your drawings a bit, but that's why you do it before. So you kind of just know where generally you want the eyes and stuff. And if you use a lot of water, it'll keep it translucent enough so you can see where it is. You're going to, you want the white to still be wet. Um, so then you're going to slowly go in and add black to your white, but you want to keep it as light as you can as you're doing it. So um, you want to start with the lightest shade of gray and then lightly go in and add the shadows to your skull. So you can add it to, like I like to add it to the edges, adding it down here where the teeth come in. Um, add it in your eyes and you want to do go as light as possible and then you're going to slowly add darker and darker shades as you're painting it all in. So I'm going to grab a little bit of white, a little bit of black just to show you how light you want to go. So that's even too dark. You want to keep adding as much so I don't know if it's you guys can see it very well but you want to go with like a very light shade of gray and then you're gonna go in I usually start with the eyes first when you're adding the gray because that's going to be your darkest point. So if you go a little too dark, that's okay. Go back in, mix up again, and make it a little lighter. That can add some eyebrows. Kind of throw in gray towards the teeth where that curved part is. Edges of that, probably around where the crystals are. Do it dirty. And it tends to be like little cheekbones, little cheekbones and the skulls. So that was the lighter gray, and you're gonna slowly start to add black. So you just add just a tad, like barely dip your brush into it, and then going in and just add a little bit more of that darker gray closer to where the sh darker shadows would be just keep on adding that in Look, 
take a step back and look at what you're doing because it's kind of hard to tell with the light shining on it. But yeah, it's looking good. So you're gonna keep on and the dark so I'm, like see how light that is compared to that like you're gonna get darker and darker as you go it's kind of a slow process be patient with yourself and just keep on adding in more I kind of might leave it like that I kind of think it looks kind of cool with the, it looks like it's uh, like melting <laughs> so now I'm gonna add a little bit darker gray Every time that I add the darker gray, I want to you do where the eyes are and where the nose is. Kind of trying to keep it kind of just going crazy with the gray. Keep on adding darker and darker as you go along and eventually it will look like a skull. I kind of want to make it look a little dirtier so I kind of just keep adding some gray in random spots. You kind of just throwing it in anywhere you can and I think the eye sockets and the nose should be even darker so you can almost go like completely black with those if you want I mean this is your painting so do whatever you want to do with it So, yeah, so you got all the gray, you want to get the sockets as, the eye sockets and the nose hole as dark as you can. Um, keep on layering in the gray and we can go to the next step. And then you're going to, like I did here, is I added um, some colors to your skull. So, like you had the colors here, you're going to add some colors in your the skull itself. You can leave it as is. It kind of looks kind of cool and like haunted looking. Mine has like that melted thing going on. I might add some more of that. Um, but I kind of like how a lot of color looks. I like to add a lot of color to my paintings. So, what you want to do is you want to mix a little bit of white with a little bit of whatever color you want to use. Um, I used a few colors in here. So I, in here, I used red, um, yellow, blue, and I mixed blue and red to make a little bit of purple. Kind of add some extra color to it. Feel really light with that. You can use the same brush, just squeeze it out beforehand so there's not so much black on it. Um, and then you kind of just go in the same areas that you did the grays and just lightly brush along with that. Um, we add some water to it so then it goes on a little smoother, not as rough with it. And you're just going to add a little like brush strokes of color. just 
going to keep on adding those little brush strokes of color into where the shadows are. And it's going to be the color and white. And water. Color, white, and water. Just keep on throwing them in. Um, yeah, so you're just going to continue adding that. So I added red. Once I move to another color that I want to add, squeeze it out. And then I'll add some blue. I like how the blue looks. It really allows you to define some of the shadows and edges of the I'm kind of going a little crazy with that. So, you know, you're adding the white or the colors to it, and you can um, go in back in and add white if like you did too much of one color in one area. That's why you kind of want to go when you're going light with it because you can go back in and add more color or add more white so it takes away some color so you just kind of mess with it, play with it, you know, do a whole bunch of things. I'm going to add just the tiniest bit of yellows. Give them a little too much yellow in the teeth. Then you can always go in with some grays. That's all the yellow I'm going to do. Um, you can even do like green, so maybe, you know, I'm going to add some green to this one. So you want to mix blue and yellow to make green. <laughs> really make it your own. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Okay, so I think the skull is done. Um, so at this point, then you can add in the crystals. So you can pick whatever color you want for the crystals. Um, I think with this one, I'm going to do red. And then you just do a solid amount of straight up red color onto it. Don't glob it on because I'm glob it on because you're going to go back in. You want it to like dry quickly so then you can go back in and add the whites and the darks. area wherever you have your crystals. Okay, so 
that was pretty quick. Um, so then you're going to, from here, get your smaller brush. So you want the smallest brush you can get. Um, and you're going to go in and kind of just add some whites, try to maybe darken up the reds, get more of a solid red, or add like a little bit of black, but just a touch of black if you're going to add black um, to it. And just kind of wherever you deem necessary, you put the lighter parts of the, like the little shadows of it. So you want to get these kind of surfaces. So you have like one solid white and everything. So you're just going to kind of add in those um, dimensional parts of it. So yeah, you're just going to add in whites to certain surfaces. You can kind of be a little messy with it. Just go in. And add different white surfaces. Um, then you can go in and add different darker surfaces. At this point, personally, I just add pure red and just add wherever I think looks right. Thank you. Um, so I just add like a little, where the darkest, darker surfaces are. I just add a little bit more red so it's not as translucent. Adding in those darker areas. And then the final step is really freaking like how much steps to this? Um, the final step is to get as much white as you can. And then you're just going to basically where you drew the lines for those crystals, you're just going to highlight those with the white. So I kind of even like go crazy and make it like really, you, you can be messy with it. So I'm almost even going like onto the background, like, let's see, I can show you. So like, that up close, you're like almost going onto the background, you're just throwing lines where you want to show like the edges of the crystal with white.